All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Looking at XRP, so XRP is struggling right now, uh, pretty much to hold support here at the 70 day EMA at 45. We are currently at 46. You can see it's kind of getting squeezed after it broke this uptrend in between the 50 and the 70 here, and it's kind of just doing nothing. Uh, the momentum, I would say, is to the downside at the moment. It's kind of sideways and down, uh, going by all the information we're getting from the MACD, RSI, and the on balance volume there. Uh, it's just a matter of time, in my opinion, that we're going to break this 4.5 if we do not get a bounce. If we look over at the Heikinashi candles, Heikinashi, you can see it's printing red, but we do have shadows here. So it could turn green, and we could get a little move to the upside. But everything else is kind of telling me, you know, even the Heikinashi there are kind of indecisive. So the momentum down, uh, the momentum is down at the moment, and the trend is down at the moment. But it's not a strong trend. That's why it's kind of just going sideways, as you can see here. You know, just kind of sandwiched in between the 50 and the 70 here. So the moment you lose the 70, you can see your next stop is the 200 at the 382 at 43. So it looks like XRP wants to come down to about 43 uh, cents here. So you're looking at at least a 5% drop. And we'll see if that 200-day moving average can actually hold as support. But it doesn't look good uh, now that you did break your little uptrend that you had in play. So if you end up losing the 200-day moving average, your next stop is going to be about 41 cents for about an 11% drop on XRP here. And like I said, if you do get a little bounce and a move higher, you have to get over your 40, uh, your 50-day moving average at 46, and then your 21 and this 236 here at 47. So those are your prices to watch on XRP. And with that said, now financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.